What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp plugin review for you today. So um, today's plugin is uh, one that I'm really excited about. Um, a lot of the time in SketchUp, uh, sometimes you need to build like a face or something between a bunch of different lines, but they're not necessarily on the same plane. Well, this gives you a really interesting, really cool way to do that. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So this week's plugin name is Soap Skin and Bubble. Plugin developer, Joseph. L. How much does it cost? It's free. Where can you get it? You can get it by searching for Soapskin and Bubble in the SketchUp extension warehouse. So this extension can take three or more lines as long as they're joined together to create a closed loop and create a face between them. You can adjust the size of the grid the extension creates, allowing for fine control over how detailed the faces you create are. You can adjust the XY ratio of the faces it creates to customize how smooth your faces are. In addition, it also comes with an inflate function, which can adjust the way the faces between the lines are made. For example, if you increase the inflation factor with this extension, it pushes the faces out, almost like you were inflating a balloon. All of these functions together make this a great tool for creating surfaces between lines that aren't necessarily coplanar. It's a fantastic organic modeling tool. Ratings. Usefulness and functionality, five out of five. This tool is designed to help you create faces between different lines and it's very good at it. It has an interesting solution to the problem of creating organic faces. By creating a bubble and allowing you to adjust the pressure inside the bubble, it gives you great control over how the faces are created. Value, five out of five. This is a free plugin. The author lists it as a limited time demo in the extension warehouse, but so far, every time the time limit has run out on it, he just extends the time limit. Ease of use and documentation, three out of five. I had to go looking for instructions on how this extension works. There's a little information on the author's website, but overall, I'd suggest going to YouTube and watching a couple of the videos on there to learn how to use this extension. Overall score, 13 out of 15. This is a great skinning extension. You're not going to need it on every single model that you do, but on models you create where you need to add complex skin between lines, it's a must-have. Couple that with the free price point, and there's absolutely no reason you shouldn't go download this extension and give it a try today. So that's where we're going to wrap up this plug-in overview. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know if you're using this, if you like it, uh, what some of the issues have had. I'd love to have that uh, SketchUp conversation with you guys. Um, if you like this video, remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button. I'm coming out with new SketchUp stuff every week. I'd love to have you along for the ride. If you really like what I'm doing, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, every little bit helps, even if it's a dollar a month. That'll just help me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.